pipe when I aim up. Elevating that game up. Stepping up to the competition. Only first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm with it till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched the other day. All right, how's everybody doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. But we just woke up, jumped on the quad, and uh, we're gonna hit some of the area that I was finding some in yesterday. And we're gonna hit some different ridges back further because they're kind of a pain to get to. And uh, anyway, so hopefully we're gonna stack them up. Brandon's gonna hit some other ridges back here. I dropped him off a bit ago, and then I went all the way to the top on a four-wheeler trail, so. Let's uh, let's try and have a good day and uh, find some more antlers for you guys. All right, guys, been going probably an hour, kind of slow start, kind of like yesterday. Um, but we got our first shed here, just a chalker. I uh, just walking on this really good trail, and I seriously got to right here before I even seen it. So not really worth packing out i don't have anything on my pack though and i'm so close to the four-wheeler still that i think i will grab it we're kind of just taking everything that we can helps pay for the trip that we're doing a little bit and uh you know like i said it doesn't weigh much and it's not that far from the four-wheeler so i am going to pack it out i'm just going to keep on this trail and hopefully we can find some more so that's a good sign first one of the day well guys i'm back it's probably been 20 minutes since i found that chalk so looking up right here at that, thinking it might be a little shed and just a stick, unfortunately. So I, I turn like this to keep going on my path and I look right there and it looks like a good one. So funny, you think you, uh, you think you see something and you don't and then you look next to it or over from it and then you actually see an antler it's so funny it's like premeditated or something but anyway let's go check this one out guys this is gonna be number two for me already off to a great start today hopefully brandon's finding a couple too probably gonna have to do some loops around here and See if I can't find the other side or find some more here. Nice little six point, hard white. Pretty sure it's hard white. It's got some pretty darn good color on this side. Barely, barely a little six. That's awesome though. That means nobody's been on this ridge either. So um, I'll set the camera down here and let's get the pickup. flipped over so it's probably might be two years old but it might be a hard white I mean it is it is right in the sun here if it is two years old that means it's been two years since anybody's hit this so hopefully I find some more hell yeah man let's get some more for you guys well guys I uh been doing my zigs and my zags down this down this kind of ridge that ends up on another flat and uh, got another antler number three for the day so it might be the other side let's go check it out I got to right here and I looked up and uh, saw tines right there so Zoom on this thing's awesome. I'm getting better at holding it still, but anyways, let's go check this guy out. Uh, pretty possible that's the same one, just sitting out in the sun, same bowl. I'll uh, get the pickup on this guy, pull the other ones off, and we'll check if it's a match or not. Probably 
probably is probably is the match because um, looks about the same age and it's a little sick just like this one so this one was just in the sun a little bit more but heck yeah nice little six so let's check if they're the match or not here Not going to be a match, guys. This one's just smaller in pretty much every way than that one. Birds don't line up, and this one looks like it's a year newer than this one. But that's all right. That means there's two more in here somewhere that uh, hopefully I'm going to hopefully I'm going to run into. So let's keep getting them. Three on the day. Only been hiking a couple hours, so let's get some more. Let's get all of them, get the rest of them, clean this mountain off. Got some mule deer here right above me. Some, probably four or five of them, look like they're all does to me, but... Oh, where'd they go? There's one. Another one right there. All right, guys, we're in the fire bowl. Hush long sleeve tee, got my lucky orange hat, hush hat, and uh, been going for a few hours now. Um, Brandon hasn't had much luck. I'm hitting really high, he's hitting really low, but I uh, just found a dead bull, so dead head. Found a dead uh, cow elk earlier and got ivories, um, so let's go check this bull out, guys. It's about what I seen there. I saw that rib cage and then I looked over and saw the uh, head with the antlers so looks kind of like a funky bull maybe let's check it out it's kind of funny because there was just garbage right above me there a couple pot cans so funky bull it's bones all over the place It's like a five by five, really weird one. Pretty cool though. Hard white. Got a little chewed there at the end, it looks like that. Pretty sweet though, so not worth, uh, I don't even know if it's worth packing out or not, I'll have to decide, but. Heck yeah, at least we found something so far, so now we just need to find the sheds. Got a really weird dropper on there. Dropper G1 there, and that back end there is pretty wild. This one's more normal, I guess, but it's got that base is just so screwed up coming, throwing out of there. Super funky bull, guys, so it's probably why he died. He probably got sick or something, who knows, so. All right, let's keep going. If this is here, hopefully we'll start getting into some antlers. About five feet, six feet from it. Go be free, rabbit. <clears throat> Go be free. Pretty tame, really. He's not that scared of me. They're pretty, pretty cool. I think that's a jackrabbit. You guys can comment below if that's not, but I'm pretty sure that's a jackrabbit. Big ol' sucker. Well, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Got a uh, chalk five point here I just walked up on. 
It's been a pretty slow day. Brandon did find a brown today though, so his first brown for 2021. I'm not sure how big it is. I'll get video for you guys when we uh, meet up again here at the four-wheeler again. So we're on our way back. It's probably been three hours since I found that deadhead, I'd say. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I've seen here with this five point when I was walking up this ridge. So just walking up right here, kind of the main trail, the about the only way you can take up and uh, seeing it laying right there. So <sighs> turning peak on the back, it's been there a while. It's a little five, but we'll take it. So first shed of the day. All right, guys, we uh, still a couple, probably a mile and a half or so from the four wheeler. It's starting to get late. I just, uh, I just walked too far in, I guess. But uh, we got the five point on my back, and then we've got another antler right below me here that uh, I think Brandon must have walked right above on his way in or something. We'll see. And then Brandon just got a hold of me, and he's got three chalks across the way plus his brown so he must have found a little honey hill back there we'll probably focus out tomorrow so let's go check this uh check this antler out i just found here i was just walking right here i looked down there was some water down below me i figured this is a pretty good little bench so i kind of walked up to it and i looked through there and uh confirmed that is an antler so let's check this thing out We'll get video of Brandon's antlers too when we uh, meet up with them here in probably an hour. We'll see. <laughs> if we keep finding antlers, it's going to be longer than that. But Oh yeah, nice six chalk. Six chalk anyway. Yeah, a little chalky. It's got some stuff growing on it. That's all right, though. Just a little six. So, no need for a pickup for this one. I'll just do it with this. But we'll pack it out. We're close enough to the four-wheeler, and uh, I didn't find that many today, so we'll pack him out, too. Maybe we'll find some more on the way out. Heck, yeah. At least we're finding some. That's good. I don't like getting skunked, so... All right, I'll get back to you guys when uh, we meet up with Brandon, and I'll show you his unless I find one on the way out. So, see you in a bit. Well, we made it back to the quad. Got my few there, all the little ones, a bunch of mostly just pretty much all chalk, and then uh, Brandon scooped a really nice big chalk set. Really big, nice one, man. Long main beams, really good swords, everything really. Yeah. Pretty awesome, and then he's got, I don't know, he's probably got five or six more there. He found a brown, all broken up, so. He's got a. Let's hold this one yeah. up for him. Brandon, hold this one up for you guys. We're wiped out, we hiked a lot today. He's got Heck really, yeah. Really big back ends on him. Pretty nice set. Too bad they're chalk, but still, what a, they're in one piece at least. They're pretty, pretty impressive set there. So definitely the biggest antlers of the trip. Yep. Pretty freaking awesome. Now yeah, it's time to find the browns. Now it's time to find more browns. But yeah, you got that brown busted its main beam, busted its G2, G1, G1 completely off. He's got a few chalks, mule deer antler. So yeah, pretty good day overall. I don't know how many we pulled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Ten antlers. Yeah, so yeah, we got ten all together. It's pretty good. Heck yeah. Catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> 